Hi guys, welcome back to the Gatekeepers TV. As usual, I'm Dennis Keton. I don't have Sunday matches, game week 13. So straight to it without wasting your time. Uh, Aston Villa facing Brentford. Aston Villa breaking news. They sacked their coach on on Thursday night when they lost to Fulham, right? Mm -hmm. They lost 3 0, and actually Aston Villa fought it twice to relieve. Uh, Steven. Steven Gerrard from his heavy duties. So <laughs> currently, <laughs> currently, Steven Gerrard is no longer the coach of Aston Villa. Communications will come on board as to who will take over from there. But until then, as Pogba always loves saying that whenever a team sucks the coach, they always come with a banger. But they're facing Brentford, guys. Brentford, a team that is coming from actually uh, ensuring that Chelsea doesn't continue with their winning streak by drawing with them 0-0. And uh, previously, they had won with Tony scoring a brace. So I feel like this is still going to be a tough one for them. Sucking Gerard, I feel like it's not going to be the solution yet, though it has happened. So if you ask me about this match, I'm going to give it to Brentford straight away. Brentford to win by two goals to one. Well, um, I don't know if the uh, it will be on Sunday. I don't know if they'll announce a manager anytime from now, maybe. Mm -hmm. But whichever the case, um, the person who will be in charge of this game will at least um, the players. I know they'll play their hearts out because they'll they'll be knowing that their new coach is watching somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, I'm expecting a, a very narrow win from Aston Villa by at least two goals to one. So mm -hmm. Aston Villa two, Brentford one. Aston Villa 2. Brentford 1. Okay. Guys, by the way, apologies for the mm, construction noise which you can hear from the background. Mm -hmm. We apologize for any inconvenience, but we shall do better. Definitely. So the next match is Leeds facing uh, Fulham. Another big game. Leeds are injured, especially after losing. Uh, they lost by how many goals, Pogba? 2-0. 2-0, yeah? Mm -hmm. To Leicester. So uh, they scored an own goal. Then on the other hand, Harvey Barnes with an assist from Drewsbury. They he did that thing and the match ended 2-0. Mm -hmm. So they're going to face each other. So I don't know what are your thoughts for on this game. Well, Leeds against Fulham. Leeds will be I believe Leeds will bounce back with this with this match. Uh, they played very well against Arsenal. They played poorly and I believe they'll play well again and maybe play poorly. I don't know. But I'm going with Leeds to win this game, but not with a clean sheet. Mm -hmm. So Leeds 3, Fulham 1. Leeds 3, Fulham 1, yeah. So guys, Mitrovic is back and he's actually doing his thing. So I feel like Fulham will have that boost back to them. And I feel like they're going to make a statement still. So give it to Fulham to win by two goals to one. Mm -hmm. Away. Okay. So the next match, Southampton should be welcoming uh, hey, 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 Arsenal, mm -hmm. the unbeaten or not unbeaten, but uh, the league leaders, as we speak right now, you see on your table, these guys are still bragging and boosting of being positioned, one of which, with due respect, they are. So congratulations for now. When you say un Arsenal are unbeaten, you are disrespecting Manchester United. I am sorry. Thank you. So, Sorton facing Arsenal at, let's see, St. Mary's. Saint Mary's. So what are your thoughts? Well, Thornton, uh, well, I watched the match of Arsenal against, uh, they were playing against Leeds. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw the way Leeds were very much, they were eager to score against Arsenal. For the first time I saw Leeds outshining Arsenal. For about, let me say, 30 minutes, Arsenal were looking for the ball. Actually, Leeds were playing like Barcelona. So, um, I believe this match Southampton are going to play very well defensively. Mm -hmm. They know the kind of uh, team Arsenal are. Well, Leeds last fixture against Arsenal, uh, it's like they figured out the games these people are playing because Arsenal are playing high line. So when they get the ball, it's always a, a through ball to somebody. They're very fast. I, I believe Southampton will be playing that match. They actually know how to play against big clubs. So Southampton, uh, against Arsenal, this one, this one is going to end in a clear, well played 0 0. 0 0. Mm -hmm. So, as you've said, Arsenal they seem to have been struggling in scoring of late, but mm -hmm. uh, considering that uh, it's not a matter of uh, struggling to score, the issue here is are they scoring? Of which the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Even the match they played in Europa, 
uh, on Thursday. They play against PSV. The match ended 1-0. It was a difficult match, but at the end of the day, they found a way to win that match. So, uh, seems like Ateta has actually programmed his team to, to, to actually get the three points no matter the situation. So they're actually hustling and they're actually playing their hearts out to gain results. So, in fact, by the Arsenal are on top of their group, which means they have qualified to the round of 16 in the Europa Europa League. Mm -hmm. uh, so congratulations to them once again. But they should not be that very happy because teams we are, we are expecting more company from Ajax, Barcelona, Juventus. We're expecting company. ETC, yeah? Yeah. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. So uh, I feel like Arsenal, they're enjoying a good run right now. So they're still on top of the table with four points on top of the of number two, who are Man City. So I'm not seeing them dropping any points anytime as I speak to you guys. So Arsenal will continue with their usual squad. Martinelli, Odegaard, Granit Zaka, and uh, Saka, the Saka, the young man. Mm -hmm. very much improved. So I feel like they're still going to continue with that squad and they're going to give us impressive results. So this is a match whereby Arsenal will actually enjoy a good win. Trust you me. So I'm going for a 4-1. Yes. As Pogba told you, Southampton knows how to play against big teams. But at the same, same time, Southampton loses terribly. If they decide to lose, they always lose with a very big margin. With honor. With all my as you say. So yes, so Arsenal four, Soton one. So next match Wolves to face Leicester City. Well, Adama Traore, I saw him playing. He's back, but not on form as he was. Actually, he's on loan from Barcelona. Since he went to Barcelona, he's <laughs> been. He's not been. The Adama we knew. Yeah, of course. And after coming back, he's still not the Adama we knew. But uh, I think they uh, they are beginning to gel somehow. They just need to be more consistent, more resilient, continue playing hard. They'll be back to their form. So they are playing against Leicester, a club which is still struggling. Look warmer. Although they won last time, but I can't promise you they will win this game. So I'm going with the Millennium boys, um, the Wolves. Actually, we saw um, um, Diego Costa. Um, he's yet to score. He was to score in the last match, uh, failed to convert a couple of chances. But this match, Costa will be on the clean, on, on the on the score sheet. So Wolves two nil. Two nil for Wolves. Huh? Mm. I'm also not impressed with uh, the unpredictability of Leicester City. Mm -hmm. These guys, they win today, then they don't win a game which you expect them to win. So they are lukewarm. They are neither here nor not there. there. So um, I lack confidence in Brendan Rodgers boys. For Wolves, Wolves, not to say that uh, I have a big pride in Wolves, but Wolves also have not been enjoying a good ride in this season. So uh, remember they are yet to get a new coach. Uh, rumors has it, as we told you last time, that they are reconsidering, to the, they are reconsidering the return of uh, Espirito. Espirito. So let's see, whatever happens, we will, we will be notifying you. Here on the Gatekeepers TV. <clears throat> so this is a match which I feel like it's a it's a game whereby the stakes are even, and uh, none of this team is impressive as of now. Uh, and having said that, I'm looking for a draw. So give it a one-one draw. One-one draw on this, by the way. So the next match is a big, big, big match. The London boys, Tottenham Hotspurs, Antonio Conte boys <clears throat> facing. Newcastle, Pogba. Spurs against Newcastle. Spurs were totally outclassed by Manchester United. Completely. The same same Manchester United drew 0-0 with Newcastle. <laughs> that tells us that Newcastle are very, they are very good defensively. Mm. Um, Pop, is it Pop? Yes. Pop is a very good goalkeeper. Your they fantasy have... captain. Of course, my captain. You took a big risk. But he, he did well, actually. By the way, he did well. Although he's not saving much, that can tell you that he has a good, very good defense line. Mm -hmm. So he was my captain, but not very much points because you have nothing to do. But clean sheet is a clean sheet. They have five clean sheets as of we speak right now. Oh. They are just after City or level with City in terms of clean sheets. Uh, Spurs on the other side, Son out of form. Hurricane, I don't know. Kulubeski, not yet back. 
uh, Rick Dyer played Ofu last time. And uh, Hoiberg. Hoiberg. He was nowhere to be seen, but Spurs, I can't say much about Spurs. Uh, one thing that I know, this game is going to be another draw. Maybe 2-2 two, two draw. 2-2 two, two draw. Mm. Antonio Conte having been bruised, injured, and actually buried by Manchester United. Eh? Terribly. I feel like you need to be back at the training ground, talking to your boys, telling them or expressing your disappointment, and you need to come up with a new way or a new uh, style of how you're going to play against Newcastle because you are terrible, <laughs> terrible against Manchester United. I, no, United were good. I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Give us our credit, you are good. We, are, we played against a very good side. But, but, but w- w- what is wrong with me choosing the words that Tottenham were terrible. Just give credit to it. Okay. Manchester United were a better team mm. in that Not a better, we were the best. Of okay, course, okay. Best. guys, I'm not going to be up twisted eh, to actually <laughs> <laughs> give us credit to it. Do. So, credit you have. Manchester United played very well against Tottenham Hotspurs and they actually won two. Eh? Hotspurs, they bungled, they didn't even have chances. I only remember one chance which Hurricane had, but uh, it was an offside. End of the day. Mm-hmm. So crazy. And if he didn't convert the offside, no, he, he never did. Mm-hmm. So as they come to play against Newcastle, they better. They are coming to face a team which is good defensively, a team which is actually doing its thing. On Myron, uh, Bruno Gumares, Kieran uh, Wilson, Kieran Trippier, the ban. These people are doing well. Uh, so you guys, you better be afraid. This is a match where by Stomba said you say the draw. Yes, two two. I'm seeing a surprise. A surprise win for Newcastle. Uh, something like one that. Nil. One nil. One nil. And you do that, it's going to be crazy because it is what it is. It's about time. Mm-hmm. So this is a match whereby, uh, for real, I'm seeing a surprise one nil from Newcastle. But anything, uh, because uh, I gave Tottenham to win against Manchester United, but I was surprised. They disappointed. Mm-hmm. And clearly, uh, in this case, I'm banking on the consistency of Newcastle. Newcastle have held. Manchester United, Newcastle have held Man City. These people, they seem to be knowing how to defend. So give it straight to Newcastle one nil. You say two 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 a draw. So whatever happens, it means that the top four or the top five battle is at risk. Somebody is going to be misplaced or to be toppled from the initial position. This game week thirteen. So be on the watch. So guys. I think as we end, we just want to remind you that uh, Steven <coughs> Gerrard is no longer the Aston Villa coach. Mm-hmm. Cristiano Ronaldo walked away from their match, even though Manchester United played an impressive game. Then the other highlight we want to tell you is ha- Erling Haaland still remains to be the top scorer with how many goals? 15. 15 Nobody goals. comes close, actually. Top passes still remains to be De Bruyne. De Bruyne. The team with the most goals still Manchester City. Manchester City, yeah. Mm. The team which has been thrashed many goals. <laughs> my friend, I, I, I tend to think it's between Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth. And Bournemouth around those teams. Yeah, uh, the team with the most clean sheets still City. And one there's a, a certain match that will be played on Monday, just quick, quick. Yes, West Ham yes. against uh, Bournemouth. Oh, yes, 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 a quick one. So, West Ham versus Bournemouth, uh, this, is, this is going to be good. West Ham will be looking to bounce him back, as, mm-hmm. especially after playing a good game but losing to Liverpool. Definitely. On the other hand, Bournemouth, for them, they did what uh, they also need to bring a good performance on this. But I'm going to go with the away team. Uh, the Hammers, you need to win this game. So, I'm going with a 2 1 win. Actually, West Ham will win this match. Two nil. Two nil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they they're going to hammer people. Of course. So guys, I think that's all the time that we had today. Thank you for always staying tuned. Tuko pamoja. Situ na pedra. Tigiza miduli. Tumia chance.